Hey guys, and welcome to another weekly Whip Wednesday. Today is April 24th, I think. Um, so today I am going to be test crocheting Will Sparga's, which is the Budget Knitters, uh, Vega bandana cowl, I think. I don't, don't remember what shows up on the screen. I forgot to mention this before. Uh, I use inverted coloring on my computer, so that is why I only have the, um, it's not a word pad. I don't even have Microsoft Office or anything on my computer. So I have this opened up. It only gave me, I think because I was using Firefox, it only gave me the options to open it up in this. So that is what I've opened it up in. And so I think I'm going to use this yarn, which is a sparkle base because I, I want to say it was the... Uh, and pen hooks and needles has a sparkle along that is going on I hope still <laughs> I haven't actually checked but I have this yarn which is a bad wolf bad wolf girl studios uh, mist dye I don't know exactly what the air was in this except for it was like the haggard colorway uh, but it was in the misfits pile um, and I was thinking because somewhere on this uh, information page it said something about 100 gram skein and then I looked at the next line says it only uses 25 grams so like well if it was 25 grams I probably could use some scrap yarn but I think I'll go ahead and test it in uh, this Bad Wolf Girl Studio yarn just so I can get in something into the spark along although I probably should check the if there's yardage requirements or something on that before I get started but yeah that is what I'm doing today except the first thing I need to do is find my hooks <laughs> um, they were set next to my computer and stuff and I think they fell and so now I gotta find where they went because the last couple of days oh that fell <laughs> it was on my computer but in a bad spot and now it's on the floor um, I've been using a thread hook, so I didn't need my normal hooks, and I have a couple random hooks down here by my computer that are not from my set, uh, but the pattern wants a 4.5, and this is a 4 millimeter, so I'm going to go find my other hooks because Zane, over the past couple of months, found my missing 4.5 hook, so we're going to get started on that. Okay, hey friends, here we are at the end of the first, I would guess, major section repeat. I've done a little bit of the next round, or row. You might notice I usually, if I refer to things in project pages, I'll just call it an R, because round and row both start with R, and then I don't have to worry about which one I'm talking about. <laughs> um, yeah, so far, so good with the pattern. Let's see, I think you can pick up some of the sparkles now. But yeah, Will said to go ahead and share as I wish, so I just thought I'd check in. It's about time to put the littles down for their nap. And then I probably need to get some other work done. Okay guys, here are we so far. It's time for the babies to get up from nap. And I got to, I believe it was the end of row 16. And so we'll be ready to start the uh, not solid rows. Or I guess I didn't read far enough ahead. I just know the next row is not as solid. Yeah, that's how far we are. Hey guys, so I decided I'd go ahead and check in with you one more time tonight so that I can get this edited and go to bed myself. Uh, so I think I'm on row 21. I need to go back and count it out. The next couple rows here are just a uh, repeat. But I think that's wrong side and this is right side. I could be wrong. I don't pay a lot of attention to wrong side and right side. No, I should. Uh, but that is where I got on the Vegas bandana cowl, at least for today. Uh, so I spent a lot of my day watching or listening to podcasts and all. And today is the day that 
one of the podcasts that I watch on a regular basis that is not crochet related comes out and that is your mom's house and I just have to highly suggest that especially with all the toxic talk that's been going on around the yarn community lately that you go watch at least the last half of this week's episode it's a two over a two and a half hour podcast so I understand and the first half of it is really something that the regular mommies as they like to call us uh understand and not what everyone else understands it's a very adult themed program just in case uh you are watching with anyone under age just don't don't bother um, but yeah they had a interview with scott thompson which is from kids in the hall and it was a great interview in my opinion i guess and i thought maybe you might enjoy it so just wanted to mention that here while i was uh finishing up for the day but yeah I was going to start my shop hopping for the Mid-Iowa Shop Hop, except none of the stores are open past like 5 p.m. today. Uh, there are a couple open till because it's a lot of downtown areas late night tomorrow, so some are open till 7 and one is open till 8, but the one open at till 8 is the one that's like not available for me to go to. and. Yeah, I just, it, it baffles me that people complain about not being able to keep yarn shops open. I'm like, well, why, why does that surprise you that they can't keep open if they're not open when the working community can get to them? Because almost everyone around here closes by five any day they're open. I think one of their, them, their regular hours was 5.30. I'm like, even if my husband got off work, picked me up, and drop me off at the store. I cannot look around in that amount of time. It's just absolutely insane that they think anyone could go to them. I mean, I get it that downtowns used to be open uh, 10 to 8 or, or 10 to 5 on a regular basis or something, but that's not the world we live in anymore, so I don't know why they keep to that. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna close off for today. I hope you enjoyed this little weekly vlog and if you enjoyed these episodes or these little vlogs I hope you hook the like button and subscribe talk to you later guys